I'm hopeful that it'll make the community happy and proud. This is a first look at Irving's new Central Fire Station. It's a nearly $7 million project in the Heritage District. Residents attending a town hall meeting at the Heritage Senior Center voted on this exterior design. Beyond the curb appeal, the new station is expected to improve response times. Just the run volume and what we call the Heritage District, it's about 22 to 2300 runs a year just in this district. And so there was a time gap. It's going to fill a need and then with all the new development going on, and I think it's going to be a good fit at a good time. I'm really excited about this new fire station. The new building will replace the long, vacant, and dilapidated former Central Fire Station, which stood for about a century. And try to preserve a little bit of this city. I know there has been some people expressing some concern about us taking down the old building. Uh, I will tell you, there's not very many folks in town that have a better, more attachment to it than I do. Okay, I work there as a firefighter, but we can't let nostalgia stand in the way of good public safety. And we are going to get to preserve some of the building. We're going to keep some of the brick off of it and use on a section of the new fire station. You'll see on one side of the station, it'll say Old Central. Well, that old central is using some of these old products off the outside of the old structure. The new central fire station is expected to open by mid-2024. Become part of our citizens on patrol. This nearly three-hour town hall meeting moved through a lot of topics. Another one getting attention is upcoming changes to solid waste collections. We're experiencing a significant labor shortage right now. It's causing service issues. So we're just trying to find out how we can help our solid waste service employees continue to deliver that top-notch service that our residents have come to expect. An interim plan takes effect October 1st. The biggest change? Probably the once a week collection, going from twice a week trash collection to once a week trash collection. Doing that allows us to uh, utilize the staff that we have. Your people do a marvelous job. Yes, they do. You know, and to be applauded. Along with copious compliments for employees, attendees also voiced questions and concerns about some aspects of the plan. Well, change is always a hard thing to do. More details are coming to the city website and your mailbox. This is one of the first public outreach efforts that we're doing. Uh, we're working with the communication staff to do a significant public outreach effort. And this town hall meeting is one way to let residents know what's happening in their city. Just a good idea to let people know what's going on not just in this end of town, but all over town, things that'll affect them. Thomas Gandy for City Source.